Good morning and welcome back. And we're here with the uh, the local Elmer County Animal Sh Animal Control. I said shelter, but so good to have you on this morning, Gary and Lisa. No, this is Gary. Uh, <laughs> I thought you were John. I'm I was John. like, were they pulling my leg? Yeah. That's Gary. That's right. I apologize. And Gary is so cute, and he's up for adoption, isn't he? He is. He's available yeah. for adoption. He's about four years old. He's been with us for about three weeks now. Yeah. And uh, adoptions uh, include spare neuter, uh, microchip. Age-appropriate vaccination, so he's all ready to go. He's ready to go, looking for a good family. Is he an indoor/outdoor dog? He is. Yeah. Um, he was turned in by his owners. Uh, they had a need to uh, change their lifestyle, yeah. and so they did give us information. Uh, he was around kids, and they uh, told us that he part of the time slept under the kid's bed and part of the time on a bean bag. Oh, so. sweet boy. He's so handsome. Love him. Housebroken. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, it's heartbreaking when family has to give up their pet like that. I'm, I'm sure that it is. Yeah, it's for sure. It's a situation that people don't expect to be in. But he's very friendly. Yeah, he seems like he's a very friendly dog. Yeah, absolutely. So you mentioned the chipping. I was going to ask you about that. Is that a is, what what type of process is that? Do you is that a good pro, do you recommend that for all people, oh, all pet absolutely. owners? Oh, uh, absolutely. Yeah, we we just adopted a dog yesterday that we were able to locate uh, an original owner from several years ago because it had a microchip and they weren't in a situation that they could come and reclaim the dog. Um, where it had been since they had it, we really don't know. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, had they wanted to reclaim their dog, you know, and we were able to get some information from them because of the microchip that was in the dog. So, so that's great. Absolutely. Yeah. It, yeah. It's a good idea. Uh, you see those stories on the news about dogs that have been reunited with their families yeah. when after they've been lost. So, absolutely. Yeah, it's, Is it painful at all for that to get inserted? You know, it's painful? like getting a shot. It's okay. done with a needle. Mm -hmm. um, and there's just a, instead of the plunger that would push a liquid in, there's a little plastic probe that just pushes the microchip out the end of the needle. Oh, perfect. And, uh, okay. So very, it's not very invasive at all. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure there's a little discomfort. Usually an animal will look around like, what was that? Yeah, but, <laughs> yeah exactly. Um, so yeah, it's a pretty simple process. And Lisa, you're a volunteer there. Yes, I am. And how long have you been in volunteering? Oh, uh, maybe four years or so. Wow. Yeah. So yeah. what do you feel about volunteering? It must be a joy to be around all these adorable pets. Oh, yes. And I, um, I started doing dog walking, and now I'm involved in promotional activity and newsletters and helping photograph the animals. And so there's lots of opportunity if you want to yeah. expand your role. Yeah, so, exactly. Yeah. That's great. That's it great. is. Yeah. So how many pets do you have there right now that are ready, ready for adoption? You know, as of today, we have Gary and one other dog available for adoption, but there are several more that we're doing behavior evaluations on. Mm -hmm. uh, yesterday, we had a great day. We had three dogs adopted. Yeah. And uh, so that's why we're that's great. on the low side right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah what a problem to have, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's wonderful. Um, we do have some nice cats uh, available to adopt as well. Cats are a little bit... Um, more challenging uh, to bring onto TV, as, yeah. as you mentioned off yeah. camera. Yeah. Uh, you know, cats in new environments sometimes are difficult. A little skittish. Yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. So what happens? So when a cat, if a cat is really, to say, a cat is an example of dogs too, but if a cat is uh, friendly and sociable and all that, do you keep them longer than you would if they're? I mean, you know, I hate to talk about that side of things, but actually, you know. euthanasia is something that needs to be talked about. Okay. Okay. Our our, our community has been very proactive, and our euthanasia rate is very low right now. Good. Last year, uh, Lisa, do you remember the exact statistic? Uh, our, I think mm -hmm. that it was 87% of animals that came into the shelter left alive. Oh, wow. So were returned to their original owners yeah. or were adopted. That's a, a phenomenal statistic, and it's only because of the community. Yeah. If the community produces unlimited numbers of animals, then the shelter is the symptom and the statistic uh, around that. Mm -hmm. But with APAL Humane Society uh, doing fundraising, uh, promoting spay and neuter, and the programs that they have, 
is the only reason, you know, with the community involvement that the shelter can have the statistics that we have. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, excellent. That's so good to hear. Well, we went through a, a recent trial. Uh, we had a cat for 13 years that was like my baby. Our, in fact, my kids called him his bro their brother. <laughs> and uh, we're a cat family. And um, he just disappeared. And I just searched high and low. I searched all the shelters. We live in Placer or in Placerville. Searched everywhere, like, was several times a week over at the shelters, um, seeing if he had been there, signed up, you know, on the registry and mm -hmm. all those things. And they did tell me that sometimes people will trap cats if the cats are in a neighbor's yard. Uh, often enough, they will trap a cat, and then animal control will come and, and take the cat. So that's why I kept looking there. Mm -hmm. um, although I kind of felt like that was, is that, I, I don't know, for, I just feel... As a pet owner and lover, I felt like, who would take my cat and drop him off at animal control? But that probably happens. Well, sometimes often. people make assumptions that may or may not be valid assumptions. And yeah. if they see a cat um, in their yard, they may think that it doesn't have an owner. Yeah. And sometimes they may take him in and keep him. Sometimes they may can take him to a shelter. Unfortunately, there are some people who probably take them and abandon them, Leave them off in another there. area. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But cats also get themselves in... Uh, interesting circumstances. Yeah, they do. We've had cats that have been inspecting a boat after somebody's been out fishing and they come to put their cover on the boat not realizing the cat's in it oh, and then yeah. the next time they uncover the boat they find the cat. Yes, yeah. um, I've heard of cats getting inside motorhomes, mm -hmm. uh, under the hoods of cars. Yeah. And so, you know, sometimes cat's curiosity uh, yes. gets them curiosity in trouble. Curiosity killed the cat, right? That's what they say. Hopefully, yeah. we're hoping Did you that. Find your cat? No, no, it's been really hard. I know. Thank you. It's been hard. We just keep the, hoping he'll show up. It's been a few and weeks. And that's why microchips are important. I know. Because even exactly. without other identification, exactly. animals in animal shelters are scanned for microchips. Yeah. No, exactly. The, the, the animal shelter, the volunteer, she gave me the speech yeah. about <laughs> shipping our animals. So we'll be doing that with these two new cats that we have. Good. Yeah. Absolutely. So how can someone get a hold of you if they want, if they're interested in learning more about Gary? Well, our telephone number is 223-6378. Uh, yeah. Okay. We're at the end of Airport Road. The address is 12340 Airport Road, uh, Sutter Hill area. And so people can come and visit. Our hours uh, for the public to visit are 10 to 1 and 2 to 430. Mm -hmm. Uh, and we are open to the public Tuesdays through Saturdays. Okay, and Saturday. so they can, yeah. yeah, they can come in on Saturdays as well. Uh, so yeah, we encourage people to come and look. Uh, the animals go through fast. We also have the county website that uh, they can check to see what's available. Yeah, adoptable. what is that? What's the website? It's uh, amatorgov.org. Okay. And then they just go to departments, animals, and look for adoptable animals. Excellent. I really hope that Gary gets adopted. Thank you so thank much you. for all you do volunteering. Oh, thank yes. You. Thank, thank you guys so much, so much for being on today. Okay, okay we're going to take Heather. a break. We'll be right back.